Forza Motorsport. I have never seen such angst against a motorsport or even just a Forza game in general. But I think this is an important moment, an important game. And the fact that this is launched in this way is really surprising and shocking to me. Now hear me out. I'm not going to be talking about the bugs and glitches because my stance on it on a ridiculous list. If the bugs and glitches aren't game breaking, the game is enjoyable and they've done some big changes over the previous one generally don't really care some of the best games i have ever played have had many issues <laughs> and that's fact and i personally even care that much about the downgrade thing like it, it, it's a racing game i don't care about how little grass there is by the way if you want to check out this video big credit to this one i can't pronounce it so i'm not even gonna bother <laughs> like for actual comparison's sake the final version in actual racing looks worlds better like really good we say goodbye to grass and we get some better car detail so what we're gonna do here is complain about the actual issues that i find with this game now i'm primarily an arcade racer but i do really enjoy some gran turismo some assetto corsa and i was hoping some forza motorsport so this is a welcome screen let's uh jump in so we've got the track tour here which is tours of motorsport pretty cool yeah we've also got the builders cup which i did see a big big complaint about the fact that well the builders cup is again it's about building a car problem is this is a motorsport game which means you can't use your motorsport cars progress cannot be saved until connection of rest uh, wait can i actually not play i'm having some issues with my network card on my pc and so <laughs> I have internet connection. What the f is this? I can only free play. All right, this is as bad as Gran Turismo. This is ridiculous. Let me go and re plug my f and ethernet cable. So one of my grabs is that you can't skip practice and people are like, why would you skip that? It's literally to set your position in the race, which you can set manually afterwards anyway. We'll start this practice, get the ball rolling. Hey, yo, look at this beautiful car. I love it. It looks so sick. What the f What the f is <laughs> I swear, I didn't do anything. Ah! Look, let me wait. Rewind to say, oh my god. Hello? Where's my game? Hel Hello? The menus is. Yeah? What is going on? <laughs> okay, either way, my newfound skill of skipping the races. Ah, skip practice. Yeah, there we go. We can dive straight into the action and begin the racing. Hello? Hello game? I promise you, I fully intended for this to work the whole, like I did, I don't, I, I wanted to show it. <laughs> I think it's bugs. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. <laughs> oh, can I just say this is really sick. I like that. Was it like an AMG, I think? It was fine that time. What the hell happened last time? Right, quit. <laughs> bugs are fine until they're game breaking. It's fine. That's, 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 that's fine. Am I still playing the game? Yes, I am. That's the important thing here. <laughs> right, see, you just choose your position. I'm gonna go last place. <laughs> the amount of cars on track, really, really cool. Yeah, it looks a little bit goofy. Yeah, it's dropping frames, but like, that's my PC. I'm not on a, I'm on a 6800 XT. It's not a huge boy. I can look at people for some reason. Beans! The custom FOV, mwah, fantastic. Really do like that. The AI. The AI. <laughs> like the actual racing experience, generally pretty decent. Uh, this is probably the highlight of it is obviously the physics are definitely more grounded than the previous. This is where the track just disappears from underneath me. Hey, it's on an SSD. There's no excuse. <laughs> Whoa, sandwiched it. I've been done in. You dirty b I'm not even gonna sit here and complain properly about the attempt at progression. Like at least they're trying. This has been a gripe of mine for the longest time with the franchise. Progression is completely missing. Is this a step too far? Yes. Is this because of we were asking for progression? No. For the sake of justifying its existence on Game Pass, you need to keep people playing so they can keep giving them those updates. Like Horizon, for example. It tops the charts so we get more content. Is this the way to do it? No. Not really. It feels 
feels pretty mobile game-ish, doesn't it? Except spending like $300 to unlock a car or something. And he's done it! First place, ladies and gentlemen! Good! Gameplay, actually really, really enjoyable. The, the core of it is actually, yeah, great. I promise it's not just because I won, because I'm not one of those people. <laughs> I, I don't really care. Wait, did I actually win? I skipped the podium, so I actually have no, uh, no idea. Progression, yep. Wow. No, that is just it. If I asked you as a Forza fan or someone that even doesn't really know the Forza franchise that much and said to you, what is the worst Forza that has ever existed? Forza Motorsport 5? It's prob probably the way to go, right? So what we got, we've got the campaign. We have got multiplayer and free drive. The th three pillars, right? Three solid pillars. Okay, well, I say solid. Let's go to the free play. Click in, very nice. What about uh, advanced setup? Let's go into the proper settings, the nitty gritty here. Let's pick something very exciting, like a race car that I can't actually use in the campaign, maybe. That's a good idea. And I've got all the rules I can set, which is pretty good. I like that. So we can change the time of day, the difficulty. They've done really well with all the options here. If anything, technically, this is more options than ever. You've even got rules. They've gone proper all out one side of the scope which is motorsport, and I get that. But that doesn't mean you have to have less features and fun than the previous games. I do not understand it. That's right, I'm literally jumping into Forza Motorsport 5 to compare the two games. So career rivals multiplayer free play. It's all the same. This game is, what? I actually can't remember the release. Yeah, I thought so. This game is 10 years old. <laughs> the new game had six years development time. <laughs> Now we have less options to customize our event, but what we do have is drag racing. In the new Motorsport game, we've got custom, circuit race, timed race, multi-class, and test drive. So circuit racing, circuit racing, circuit racing, and circuit racing. I want to say the multi-class thing is pretty cool though. Then why do we have drag tires in the game? Okay, granted, I, I, I appreciate drag tires being there, but why are so many games removing drag racing but keeping drag tires? Now, I know what they were saying they wanted it to be more serious. Serious sim racing, and I kind of understand that. Horizon is the more fun side of things. But since when is drag racing all about fun silliness? Drag racing is a proper motorsport, right? Don't bully people, my drag racing boys. I'm fighting for you. Oh, shit. I forgot about this. <laughs> That's so dirty. Does that built from the ground up career screen look much different to this one? Where you can once again do events in cars, but also in race car. That looks different. How dare they have fun pictures and billboards of London things and bins in the road. This is too fun for a motorsport. Oh my god, Xbox. How dare you have fun? How dare you have a drift hod you can turn on? And how dare you rack up some points by doing drifts? What is this? This is not a proper motorsport. This is disgusting. And I can't show you the fun game modes, like there was the infected one and things. The multiplayer was really, really fun because obviously it's been shut down now. For God's sake, it's crashed again. It's like soft locked. <laughs> so if it was a motorsport, is a bit of a downgrade compared to previous versions. And that's ignoring, obviously, for, for what's most, what, six and seven. The reason I'm using five as a comparison is it was considered the worst, and it itself was a new engine. It was built, maybe not from the ground up, but it was built fresh, other than the car models, obviously. So it's a really good comparison between this. Obviously, another good comparison between this is Gran Turismo 7. Obviously, that had a bit of a different development. Their reboot was GT Sport. And it is 100% worth complaining about both, though, is in that they have cars in the game, not even just sports cars in Gran Turismo's sake, that you just don't have events to use them in. So they feel a little bit pointless. I keep saying this, adding cars does not fix the fundamental issues with these games. These games from the console manufacturers set the bar. The bars in terms of quality and content and a lot of things. There used to be a time where I was more excited and used almost third party games as a stopgap towards the exclusives. That time has since passed because Little Big Planet is dead, rest in peace. But it just shocks me. The series has gone from being the most polished racing game series to exist, probably the most polished game to exist. Yes, they built from the ground up. They had six years to do so. Again, they said they built from the ground up. And this is what we get. 
I, I, I just feel it's so lacking. How difficult would it be to add a drift scoring system? It, a simple one. How difficult would it be to have drag racing on sections of tracks? All of this stuff may come, but there are some positives towards the game and I do want to call those out too. The details on the paints and the reflections are awesome. The orange peel of the paint and such, like it's properly sick. That's a really cool detail. And what I've heard from a lot of people, the multiplayer is really, really sick. So let's try that. A la Gran Turismo, you've got start times, entry times, which is, I, I like, it's, it's good. It, it, it's fun. It seems like you've actually got more races here, which is nice. Obviously, there's more cars to drive, considering the models uh, can be really old. Oh, sick. So it actually has practice and qualify online. That's pretty cool. The actual pra wait, practice ends in 23 minutes. So I've got a little bit of time to put time in already feels like a proper highlight <laughs> very cool first time driving the honda completely skipped practice because you know me <laughs> i ain't got time for practice qualifying however oh hell yeah the physics of the race cars feel awesome like so much better not just these big understeery messes I, that's so weird to me because personally in like gran turismo i enjoy the road cars drive a little bit better of course the race cars are a lot more grippy and stuck to the road obviously but I don't know, the, the disparity between the two is pretty wild. Like, this little Honda is sick. I don't know if anyone has properly qualified yet. Oh, I'm first? What the f- What? Let's go! <laughs> this is good. I don't know, I like this bit. Why was it never pushed as, like, a proper multiplayer fun experience? Bro, move out the way! Coming through! You tried to ram me, you dirty, dirty b Qualifying complete. I'm happy with that. I'm P1 in qualifying. Again, I don't think that'll last, but... That was fun. Now we just got to wait until the race actually starts in 20 minutes. <laughs> Starting in sixth place. I'm quite happy with that. Let's see how we get on in my first online race. Launching Horizon style collision. That wasn't my fault. He's just slow. Thank you. No penalty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They are absolutely everywhere. <laughs> I had to do it. You absolute bubble. No! What are you doing? Baggy! He put me off as well. I, that's why I did that. He's all over the place. He's all over the place. You scared, bruh. Oh, sorry. Hey, I did it. No! <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> yep. What? No penalty. <laughs> what? <laughs> Overall, not bad. Very close to podium. I definitely gained and gained throughout the race. Getting a feel for the car a little bit there. Yes, I have a time penalty, <laughs> but I finished. Two positions gained. That's not bad. The multiplayer is as I expected. It's like Gran Turismo, but Forza. With the advantage of more cars, there's going to be more variation to it. But no fun. No, 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 no. That's not allowed. P4 in my first online race. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for the effort. Go away. I don't want to see you. What type of money are we looking at? 40k? That's fine, right? So to summarize, we've had an up and down episode, of course. But the biggest issue here is that we're now not only reducing cars, which quite frankly, I don't really care about. Because in most cases, those are being rebuilt. And that is a good thing. Why are we now reducing features as well? What's going to be left <laughs> in the next reboot of Forza Motorsport? We're removing everything to bring worse overall games in most aspects. But don't forget, folks, this is an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Review scores. <laughs> what does Steam say? Mixed. I don't think I've ever, ever, ever seen that on a Forza game. Ever. Pretty telling. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Let's keep this discussion going. And make sure to check out these. Highly recommend.